will pray the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love year after. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Rainier Najima SBD. Our Eucharistic celebration and will now begin. Please rise. Purihit pa salamatan sa masayang awi. Purihin natin at pa salamatan ng Dios na ang pagibig. Sa'yo ang masalamat sa mayamang lupa't dagat At sa magandang kalikasan at sa aking tanang buhay Purihit pa salamatan sa masayang awi At pasalamatan ng Diyos ng pag-ibig. We are gathered around the table of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, before listening to the Word of God and before receiving His body and blood in this Eucharist, First of all, let us humble ourselves before the Lord and ask Him to forgive us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert, in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume or to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its godly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priest asked not, Where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dubbed themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. It's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you is the foundation of life, O Lord. 
We juice the fountain of life, O Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the foundation of the life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house from your delightful stream. You give them to drink. With you is the foundation of life, Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends, your just defense of the upright of heart. With you is the foundation of life, O Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord the disciples approached jesus and said why do you speak to the crowd in parables he said to them in reply because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you but to them it has not been granted to anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, you shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but not, never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed morning po to everyone. For those who are joining us online, good morning sa mga nandito sa Filipinas, good afternoon or good evening sa mga nasa other countries. Jesus in our gospel today highlights the importance of the Word of God. Kaya nung panahon ni Jesus, gumamit siya ng kung ano-anong strategy para sa ganon ipahatid or ihatid ang kanyang mensahe sa mga nakikinig sa kanya. And one way or one strategy that he did is, that he used is by using parables for the people to understand his message. Kaya yung mga parables po, hindi naman talaga ito ng totoong nangyari sa buhay. Pero 
may connection sa mga events na nangyayari during the time ni Jesus. Kaya siya nagkwekwento para sa ganon, mas maintindihan ng mga tao ang kanyang message. And one of the reasons is because they look but do not see and hear but do not listen or understand. And the last part of the gospel, Jesus said, Blessed are your ears, blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Jesus is referring sa mga tao before him na hindi pa nakakita sa kanya, na hindi pa nakarinig sa kanya. Kaya sabi niya sa last part, Blessed are we. Kasi nakikita na natin ang Diyos through Him, naririnig na natin ang Diyos through Him. Sa mga unang panahon, napakahirap po mag-avail ng salita ng Diyos. Napakahirap maintindihan. Kaya ako konti lang nakakabasa, ako konti lang nakaka-avail. Kasi Latin pa noon, yung mga Greek, yung mga Hebrew, Pero ngayon, na-translate na sa iba't ibang vernacular languages. But the challenge is, are we reading the Word of God? Are we, are we reflecting on it? Are we meditating on it? Or are we putting them into practice? Jesus said, blessed are we. Sapagkat ito nga, napagaraming means para sa ganun, mabasa, makuha ang mensahe ng Diyos. Our mother sa probinsya, napakasimple ang kanyang pamamaraan para to proclaim the word of God sa family members. Sa baryo namin, medyo malayo sa parokya. Kaya usually nung bata-bata kami, ang ginagawa doon is prayer service. Pero for us, parang misa na rin yun. Kasi binibisita kami ng, mang, ng pari namin, Swerte kung within a year ay, ay five times or, or four times na makapag-misa kami sa chapel na yan. But uh, we considered it as uh, enough na kasi malayo sa parokya. Pero ang mother namin, nag-check talaga yan ng attendance. Every Sunday, nag-check yan ng attendance kasi marami kaming mga anak. Twelve kaming magkakapatid. Kaya chine-check yan every Sunday kung sinong mga absent. Kasi, dinner, Sunday ng dinner, pinafollow up yan. Sasabihin, Bunso, ano yung first reading kanina? Ay ikaw, Reniel, ano naman yung sharing ng katikista kanina sa prayer service? Ay ba kung absent ka, wala kang masabi. Wala kang ma-share. That's her own way, little way of sharing Little own way of making a follow-up kung ano ang naririnig natin sa simbahan, namin sa simbahan. Sapagkat ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang marinig dito tapos period. It should be shared and most importantly, it should be lived out. Sa panahon ngayon, napakadaling i-avail ang salita ng Diyos. Pero ang challenge lagi, medyo mahirap din isa buhay. Let's continue ask. Jesus, the divine word, na ganun pa man, napakadaming challenges na ating hinaharap, let us always make the word of God as our guide, as our um, manual sa ating buhay, patungo sa karyaan ng Diyos. Please all stand. Christ teaches us through the parables. Christ is the sower of the seed of God's word. Let us respond to his work by praying to the Father. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. We pray and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven, and may those burdened with grief be strengthened by God's word, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the to me and drink, come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will pour my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. Please rise. Pray, dear people of God, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. As with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, who founds of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took a bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took uh, the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held his worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we praise that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anastar our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We include in our prayers in this Mass all those who have gone ahead of us. We pray for the souls of June and Rolando. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph for his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As sons and daughters of God the Father, let us now call unto him through the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the look not on our sins, but on the faith, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the design of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, I come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. rise. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please deal. And together we pray the prayer for vocations. O Father, you desire all of us to be happy. Stir up the grace of a religious vocation in the hearts of many men and women. Grant to them the willingness and generosity to give of themselves, their lives, their time, and their talents to the service of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Savior, and to his holy church. Many more men and women go forth as priests, 
deacons, brothers and sisters to bring the truths of our Catholic faith to all others so that soon they too may know you better and love you more and serving you be truly happy. Amen. Horatio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strength and our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures to, for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsud, pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Saint Joseph Prinadimet, pray for us. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We receive God's blessings in this Eucharist. Go and be God's blessings to others. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.